Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In today's video, we will learn how we can make a vending machine on Proteus. So here is our problem statement in which we have to design a control server circuit for vending machine with the following specifications. Here is the our specifications. The vending machine accept nickels and dimes. When the machine has received 15 cents, it delivers a package of candy. If too much money had been added, the machine returns the difference. When the candy has been released, the release mechanism brings the circuit back to the original starting state. So it is our problem statement in which we have nickels and dimes. One nickel means 5 cents and one dime means 10 cents. Now, we have to make the state diagram for this vending machine after that we have to make the state table then from the state table we have to grab the k maps and from k maps we have to grab the equations for the inputs and outputs so let's move to the state diagram here you can see that first of all we have the block diagram of our circuit the inputs are nickels and dimes and internally we have our sequential circuit and finally we have the outputs y and z y means release candy and z means returns the chain after that we i have make a state diagram for our circuit in which we have three states s0 means the reset state after that s1 and s2 on the reset state when we have the nickel then it moves to the S1 state with the output 00. On the S1 state we have 5 cents. After that when another nickel is put in the machine then we can move to the S2 state with the output 00. On the S2 state we have the 10 cents. And after that when another nickel is inserted in the vending machine then we obtain the output 1 0 1 means the release gum and no return change and then we move to our research state as 0 on the the next possibility is that on the reset state when we insert the dime on the as 0 state then we move to the as 2 state directly with the 10 cents with the output 0 0 after that we have two chances in which we can insert the nickel or we can insert the dime in the possibility of nickel we have seen that with the release gum and no return and on the s2 state if a dime is inserted again then we have total 20 cents then the vending machine will release the gum as well as return the change so our outputs are 1 1 and the after that we can move to the reset state another possibility is that when on the s1 state we have already 5 cents so when on the s1 state we can insert the dime instead of nickel then we have the our total 15 cents so with the output 1 0 one means release them and no return change and after we can move to the s0 state so this is the explanation of our state diagram now by using that state diagram we can make this state table here you can see the state table of our vending machine the in present states are a b the inputs are dime and nickel and next states output a plus b plus and final outputs y means this candy and z means output when the all inputs are 0 0 0 we have our outputs 0 and 0 and when our inputs are 0 0 0 1 then the next state b plus is 1 with the output 0 0 because it is not enough sense to release candy or to return the change and similarly so on for the other inputs we have make the state table you can verify that table with the state diagram after that state table we have to make the k map for the output y and output z to draft the equations to make a circuit after that we have make the k maps for the 
next states and for the outputs y and z here you can see the pairs that i have made and the equations that i have derived from these k maps on the upper left hand side you can see the k map of the d a and on the right side you can see the equation of db and on then you can see the output equations y and z and you can verify that inputs from the state diagram and from the k map after that we have to make a state circuit of vending machine on proteus by using these equations <coughs> now let's move to the proteus i have made this circuit of vending machine on proteus using the equation that i have shown you previously here is the our next state da and here is our next state db and here are our present states a and b and here you can see the our outputs z means return to change and y means to return candy and here are all the inputs dime and nickel for the present state da you can see that equation in which we have three and gates in which two are three input and gates and one is two input and gate and finally we have our three input or gate to sum these equations for the da so for da you can see that we have three input three and gates in the first and gate we have the dime not of a and not of b which is basically the a bar b bar and dime and in the second and gate we have the inputs nickel and b bar and for the third and gate we have the inputs b bar c bar and that now you can see that by using that equation simply derived for the db outputs y and z we have made this circuit very easily from the equations you can verify that circuit and these are the latches that we are going to use here in the vending machine with the volt hertz frequency in the d latch we have the d input and of d latch output is q after that we have our circuit for the z and we have our circuit for the y output and here you can see that i have connected the logic analyzer to analyze our output and input relation in the waveform now when i am going to run this circuit here you can see that i have run the circuit now i have given the random inputs after that i have to logic analyzer in which our states are a0 to a4 are active and now i am going to click on the capture when the capture is green after that i am going to input the random inputs so we can generate the waveform of our input and outputs now you can see that our capture becomes the green now i am going to change our inputs in order to generate the waveform I am going to bring the random inputs here now the capture becomes black and our output is generated you can see that the A0 is for the dime A1 is for the nickel and similarly A2 and A3 for the output Z and output Y now you can verify that output waveforms from the state table in which we have two inputs also present state which are not shown here you can verify that from the circuit diagram so this is our vending machine with the following outputs and input relationships we form so in this video we will see how we can make a vending machine on proteus using the state diagram state table and after that finally we have to make the k maps for our input and outputs so that's enough for today, Deb. Thank you.